This is task 3, question 3a, where you're asked to design the design specification for the Royal Return website. What you have to do is have a look at the question and see exactly what information you've been provided. First of all, you're told about the different web pages, the home page, the fast food page and the contact us page. We're not actually looking at what content is going to go into the website. What you're really looking at is what is the overall website going to be like so that you can create a design specification that will be appropriate for every page rather than a separate one for each individual page. So this is what we're looking at here. All pages will include at the top the name of the shopping centre. So at the top here we've got the name of the shopping centre. Navigation links to all pages below the name of the shopping centre. So here is where we're going to have our navigation links. So you'll notice I've called them buttons because it re uh, refers here to buttons and here to buttons as well. It says that all pages will include a top area for the name of the shopping centre and the current web page that is 50 pixels high. So here's that top area, the width okay, that is going to be the full width of the page, so that's 100%, and 50 pixels high okay, is specified here. Now it doesn't have to be the whole width, okay, but right, I've chosen 100% there because it makes sense. Then we have to have a buttons area, so this is the buttons area. Again, we set the width for 100%, whatever we've chosen here needs to be the same. A height of 50 pixels, and we'll have a look at the background colour black in a moment. And then it says a main area for the rest of the page content. So here's the main area, uh, just here. And you can see here that the width is 100%. But this time it's, we're leaving it as a continuous height. And the reason we've left it as a continuous height is because we don't know how much content is going to go in for each page. So it will just continue until it finishes. It says here, all pages should use the whole width. So that is why we've chosen 100%, because when we get onto this bit, it says all pages should use the whole width of the browser. Then it says we need to have consistent styles. So we've got web page titles, subtitles, body text, and buttons. So our web page titles are what go up here. Titles will be in our content area, along with the main body text. And then we'll need styles for the buttons as well. So we're going to say that our web page titles are going to be a serif font, white, 24 pixels and bold. Now in having chosen that serif font, it's probably sensible to keep using the serif font for all the other uh, types of style. We've identified a colour for each one and the size for each one. And for these two, we've also identified them as being bold. Now for buttons, I've specified that those to be white Right, there's nothing that we've been told. What we've got to do, I've made these choices myself. And I'll continue to use the normal body text on those buttons. So that is what you sort of thing that you need to create for design specification. Make sure that when you've completed it, that you check every part on here and you make sure that you have included all of the things that are asked for on here in your design specification.